All right, here. Okay. okay. Uh, no, I've only got one cup in. I'm waiting for the recap. All right, you ready? Ready, cameraman Bob? Yes, sir. Okay. To recap, we start out with two cups self rising flour. That's the second cup. See? Okay, I have a head in the vicinity there. Have it. To the side, baby. We're in the cooking show here. All right. Then you put two thirds cup of water. In a measuring cup. Is that cold water, warm it's water? Tap water? Cold water. You cold water. You're just using that as a measure. So you can put the right amount of shortening in. Because you've got to shorten it's got to be a third of a cup. Get this out here. A couple weeks ago. So when it gets all the way to the cup, a little bit more, huh? Yeah. And all these are supposed to be here. Way. 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 Look on my phone to see it onto the camera. All right, now, hold, don't, pour, don't dump the water in. We're dump, only about shortening it. Now, as you can see, this gives you a, a good measure of, of your shortening. So what is that again? Crisco shortening. One-third cup. All right. Grandma, I'll just take this out of the water and put it in the... Yeah, pull the water out over pour the in water. the sink. Uh, pour the water out over in the sink. So the water's not used. No, no it's at, amazing. Look at Grandma. Get a picture of Grandma. <laughs> Uh, All right. Okay, shorten it in. Look at that, baby. Now you take, three, take that and mash it up to the. Uh, With just a fork or a little spoon? Little. What do you use to mash it up? The spoon. Okay. Let me show you. Let grandma My grandma did. It. She's an expert. So you can keep mashing until you get it all blended in. Turn right to the side, Matthew. There you go. Or come to this side. There you go. let y'all do it. All right, keep mashing in, baby. Got to mash it up good, baby. Okay. Let's put this bowl so it doesn't come tumbling off the counter. Let's get a little bit higher on the counter. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Right, you can cut now. Let's be edit for you. I saw it said two cups. I know, but it seemed like four. Do I need to add some more to it? Am I going no, too far? No, no, no. You've got enough. Get huh? three, go get three fourths of a cup of milk. Three quarter cup of milk. We'll see if that'll do it. We're not sure, but. Do you, do you use milk or buttermilk or do you care what you make? I use both of them, but you can use. You use what's handy? Yeah. I, I Does the buttermilk make a difference on how uh, it turns out? I don't know. I didn't use, I didn't use no buttermilk when Dave was here because he don't believe in nothing. How much milk do you say, Grandma? Try three fourths. Three fourths of a cup. And then gradually beat it in. So you pour it in slowly. Three quarters? Yeah, the, yeah don't pour three it quarters come out, Massive. You start stirring and I'll pour it in very slowly. Do you stir it or you keep mashing like you were doing? Stir it. Yeah, and that model costs back. And I thought that's going to Get all the way from the sides now. And look. Two white dots. Yeah. Yeah, he's right in. Okay. Yeah, he's right in. Yeah. 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 Now you just use cold milk. show. <laughs>
Grandma, tell a story. Yeah. <laughs> How did you your learn? Cousin Mabel Burton. No, I no, I had anybody by that. Did you? It was any of your uh, ancestors from Ohio that you know of? Not that I know. Of. Look at my yeah. now. Keep turning, Madison. Burton. I'm bigger. If John hadn't blown the fortune, we might have still had some. He had $311. Yeah, because mine had the All right, get in here. Get in here, camera. Camera one. <laughs> I'm going to let you do it. Thanks. She's not overdoing it, making it crumbly. Just stir it in yeah, a little bit at a time. Keep stirring. stirring. I think it'll be, make good dough. I think I got the right amount of flour. You're making dough. Three quarter cup milk. Four. Hello. Camera over here. Okay. Add. Camera over here. Slowly. Wow. <laughs> That's what you're talking about, man. What do you mean? So you're you're talking about a slurry there. Oh my God. <laughs> Give me on the camera. Now we've got to get it. Sometime you can do it with that added, but this is a little bit wet, so we got to add a little flour to it. Uh -uh. <laughs> Okay, Grandma's got to get right. Got to see the right consistency. Yeah. It's, that's it's the trick. Silly yeah. girl. That's stuff serious. you can't write movie. down. Out of my movie. <laughs> I'm recasting this. With somebody else. I need a new star. Starlet. <laughs> this one's being silly. It is mighty wet. <laughs> see, I didn't put enough flour in. What it was? Did you? <laughs> Grandma said I put too much flour she's in. Just, she's just making extra biscuits for we just, we just love this because it's fun. We kept sneaking a little extra in. Now, go write it down, right? I already did. I guess the bird would do it. I guess the bird would do it. Write down a little bit of flour. Write down a little bit of flour. Well, I want to see what the consistency looked like at the end. It's going to be in kindergarten. I can describe the consistency. I will write it down. Say add flour until or, or milk until a certain consistency. Oh, yeah. I get it. Let me wash my hands. I'm thinking about it. Until it's gooey. No, we went beyond gooey. We want to come with like a dough. I'm going to and put him on the back of his backpack. I'm done. Uh, maybe, uh, I'm going to on me, sir. No, we're watching. We don't care about you. We want to see Biscuit. What's <laughs> that? See that? Mm -hmm. So you get it, you get it to you, you add flour or milk until you get like a kind of a pizza dough consistency. Yeah, see, that's good enough where you can Massa. break the bitch off tonight. Yeah, see, look at it, Madison, look at this, baby. You're going to have to make them every morning for the next 25 years. Oh, no. Yes, ma'am. That was my plan all along. I'll be 32. I know, perfect age for you to quit living at home and find a husband. Uh, uh, you got here's the frying pan. Uh, right. 18. Can you grease the frying pan? No, I, not that. Some of them. That that was pretty well seasoned. I'm full. Take that that much, and I usually put a little bit like that. Put some flour on it. You want you drink that? Get it nice and floury. Well, it makes the way you can use the dough. You gonna help, Master? You gonna make a biscuit? Yeah, yeah I want y'all to make them. All right, just pinch off a little bit. Put your hands in the flour and get your, get your hands floured up. Wash your hands first. You wash your hands this week? She washed them, I believe. You, you believe? Washed them in the toilet. <laughs> Madison. No. I just put them in the water. And this is this the ham? That goes on the biscuit. <laughs> so we're saying I can have a bacon egg. And what, what 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 degree of temperature we need? Three forty five? I got it on five hundred. They say four fifty. You need young good. Five hundred or four fifty. Go right there. Right there. Right there. You. She's got a You gotta write this stuff down, Dad.
I'm going to depend on you to write stuff down. Does it tell you how long? Do you do you pat it hard, or you you kind of let it loose, or do they rise much? No. They rise on up. Do you use self-rising flour? Any special flour we're using here? Self-rising. Any kind you got. Any kind you got. This is white lily. Light lily eight, biscuits. Eight to ten minutes at 450. You no, could, heat that one to 500. This one's In set. fact, you could just read the package. Let's read it. We eight to ten minutes. Does it. She makes it different everybody else we know. I was going to cut it out for him, but he wanted to write it down. He wanted to. Yeah, next one room, baby. Your mom's going to yeah. have you make biscuit every Sunday now for all the young. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Now that I know how to Is do it. Is this thing on? On Sunday mornings, I can make it for Grandma. You can. Sometimes. On Sunday morning, you and me go in the kitchen. Make some biscuits for, gra for Grandma's lunch, right? Yep. And it takes about three cups for that. It makes 18 biscuits. This is supposed to make 10 or 12. I mean, three, six, nine. Seven. You did okay. You did fine. That's like 500 degrees. Preheat, right? Yeah. It's not ready yet. You know, this Sunday, I'm going to think of the time. I don't know if we'll have time, but we, we might we make biscuits for Easter. That's Easter right. biscuit. Easter biscuits. Oh yeah, you can make them. All right, so I'm gonna put on the beginning preheat oven 500 degrees. Daddy, y'all go home and go with your mama to the services and then make our pan of biscuits and that'll be a wonderful Easter. So we'll be sure. Bye. See ya. Let's have a tour.